Greetings everyone, uh, today I would like to continue my random talk about the random stuff and since a special day is coming called uh, the Valentine's Day I would like to talk about boy and girl girls and their you know, this relationship, something like that so um, there is uh, one Russian song with the words uh, like "Зачем вы девушки красивых любите? Непостоянная у них любовь." Meaning, why you girls love handsome boys, not constant their love, something like that with such words. And um, girls like handsome boys is just a part of a big picture I put this uh, thing for extra charm um, uh, a bigger picture is that um, it's a natural that uh, two deers clash with each other and the strongest strongest take uh, the female deers like this this natural stuff exists in a human society where you know this uh, sporty guys uh, go with you know these uh, most beautiful girls. So these most beautiful girls um, tend to like uh, strong, tall boys, and they uh, they will tell you that uh, sorry you are not my level, so <laughs> something like that. So um, girls uh, naturally like um, strong and dangerous boys who can beat up other, you know, these boys, something like that. Since, uh, you know, these um, smart and polite boys uh, do not want to have extra sacrifices or, you know, this um, trouble, they usually uh, leave the girl alone and um, the girl uh, is left with only, you know, this um, choice to uh, follow this strong, you know, this guy. Uh, or you know this um, simply this strong boy is claiming her with his you know this string so um, parents should be uh, aware of such you know this uh, social staff and since I'm a father of a daughter I need to check if uh, uh, you know check on her you know the boyfriends if they are you know this hooligans or not or you know there's some uh, you know this tiny guy or smart guy something like that so um, uh, this uh, sometimes creates uh, you know this uh, f you know this family abuse or you know this some kind of problem that uh, a man who can easily beat up other man can beat uh, his wife and um, in time you know this uh, woman usually develops a fear of uh, you know this his husband so that she stays some kind of you know, this obedient housewife something like that so uh, girls need to be quite uh, smart in their choices and, um, and all I'm trying to say is that be smart on your uh, cho choosing your valentines and I would like to wish you a happy valentines and um, today I would like to talk, you know this show you one uh, picture this is going to be uh, my you know this uh, good life good life wish banner something like that i will put you know this uh, this picture uh, in description below and um, i would like to uh, you know this tell what uh, are the you know this uh, symbols and um, I hope it's uh, you know this somewhat you know this uh, enough to represent you know this good life something like that. So what is a good life? Well, uh, when you look at you know this uh, fashion magazines, you see a man and woman dressed in you know this awesome clothing, and um, they try to you know to show what is a good life. Uh, all this fancy you know this shiny. Etc. Etc. So, uh, like this, this is very simple. Uh, you should have a man and woman, and um, since it's somewhat, you know, the conservative thing, um, a common culture or tradition, 
something like that. So they are interested in some much you know, traditional clothing and etc. So, so um, they are holding you know this uh, ring and you know this uh, square, square you know this ring, something like that. And uh, when you talk about good life, you have to talk about the God or gods uh, who promote good life. Um, in my previous video, I talked about you know this um, sex, you know this wish banner, something like that. I did not include fish because I um, I told you know this. It seems fish do not take pleasure from uh, sex. Uh, when you know this fish uh, grow in numbers. Uh, it seems like they are poopy. They are just, you know, poop together and that's all. So it's kind of weird sex symbol. So I uh, totally refuse to use fish symbol uh, as a somewhat, you know, this sex symbol. And also I uh, refuse to uh, use, you know, this seashell because seashell may look like a, you know, this. Uh, woman's vagina but um, seashell has a bad name kesa um, um, meaning um, you know this uh, you know this asking someone to break it you know this um, this uh, you know this seashell is building this defensive structure and you know this um, asking other you know these predators you know can you penetrate my armor something like that so um, you know this kesa um, is basically means um, can you do it can you do it something like that na 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 you can't do it something like that how to explain it it's a it's a it's a basically a bad word so i'm not going to use this seashell um something something like that okay um, good life and which god promotes good life uh, one can say that mother earth and Father Sky should bless with a good environment in order to promote good life. Uh, but it's it's all it's kind of hard to to describe Mother Earth and you know the Father Sky. But there is you know some traditional ways um, to describe them. And um, another God that promotes a good life is obviously the Lord of the Ring. And recently, I watched, you know, this the Lord of the Ring, in the Hobbit, uh, the Battle of Five Armies, and there was a two disturbing moments. Uh, I found, you know, a little bit disturbing. It's when, you know, this uh, um, they are battling with the, uh, you know, this ghost, you know, these kings. So um, I thought it was quite unfair that, you know, this. These ghost beings do not have a body, but they are like um, fighting. Uh, they should, uh, you know, this, you know, this should uh, have a material body in order to fight. Uh, fighting ghost is like, you know, this unfair. Um, the second part is that, you know, this a little hobbit takes a stone and throws to towards the orc, and orcs, you know, this fall. So I thought, you know, this um, uh, in a Hobbit movie, Hobbit was overpowered, <laughs> something like that. So um, the Lord of the Ring, um, the Lord of the Ring that I'm talking, you know, this about is the uh, the ancient Persian god Ahura Mazda. But um, the dictionary says our Lord of the Ring, Hor Master, or, or you, you can add air like. Uh, Build, builder, nothing is like changing. Um, the Hor Master, Hor Master, is a Mongolian god. So I was a little bit, you know, this confused. If it is really the Lord of the Ring, is is really Persian, or it's our, you know, this local god. Um, I'm not sure, but um, Hor Mazda, uh, Hor Mozda is. Basically, like Hormasta, Hormosta, it's a, it seems like a one word. So there you have a Lord of the Ring. Um, you know, this some gods represent things that exist in the real world. Like death exists in the real world. So there is a god of death, um, Elk Khan. So 
there is you know this uh, you know, this Lord of the Ring in real life, and there is a God, God called the Lord of the Ring. Uh, the Lord of the Ring is usually a married man. So married man has a ring. Um, in the case of Western culture, you have a wedding ring, but here in Mongolia, uh, the ring master or uh, is. Uh, Uh, this this ring is a male symbol, and um, this usually represents, you know, represents a chariot. But um, when you have this uh, thing two times, like this, this turns into a, a wedding symbol. So uh, two chariots become a wedding symbol. Um, why? It is because mm, it usually represents uh, a girl, a youth. Um, so the Lord of the Ring is basically the you know the, the proud owner of a home. So the master of a home is um, a man. And mm, there is you know this female symbol, so called uh, female chariot, and. Um, this is also turns into a um, wedding symbol. It's like uh, two uh, houses are joining together, two girls are joining together in a marriage, something like that. So, um, women uh, usually travels in a square chariots. Also, women uh, should, you know, this look after something called urh. So, uh, two, uh, two girls are joining and two urks are joining in a marriage, something like that. So uh, the Lord of the Ring is a man who is, you know, this carrying this ring, and woman is carrying this square ring, something like that. So um, I thought it uh, seemed somewhat, you know, this complete. But I thought, you know, this it is better if uh, uh, you know this circle is combined with the uh, how to say square forming a symbol of a coin so when you are talking about good life you have to talk about the money so uh, it is no secret that uh, this is uh, one of the symbols of good life if you have plenty of this uh, which is you know this money uh, it is quite possible that you have a good life, something like that. So, um, mm, in the case of uh, Chinese uh, tradition, a square you know, this uh, square represents the earth, and uh, the circle represents the you know the sky. So, um, sky and earth together, uh, forming a symbol of a coin. Something like this. So I decided to change this um, picture uh, to create a symbol of coin. So here it is. I happen to know this. Put uh, how to say this box. Um, so you have man and woman. They are holding their rings together, forming you know this. Uh, this um, uh, fortune symbol, something like that. So yeah, uh, I will put this picture in description below. Let me enforce it. Uh, says "tena," meaning the price in Russian. Okay. So yeah, um, I have. Um, you will see this picture in the description below. I have put a lot of, you know, these uh, uh, ribbons or so-called the tassels. So a lot of, you know, this important is given to this thing because uh, this, uh, these are represent, you know, the wish. So uh, you um, you tie this stuff on a coin uh, make, when you are make a wish. And you tie this uh, piece of clothing f fabric in a, on a tree to make a good wish, 
something like that. So um, there's a lot of you know this this thing. Uh, the horses are having you know this uh, man and woman having these rings also having. This is um, somewhat you know this uh, similar to Sassanid art. I will also put uh, the picture in description below. So um, well. Um, Happy Valentine's everyone and uh, have a you know this try to have a good la life and if you already chosen your uh, lover uh, Valentine um, you need to hold um, um, you know this his uh, if you're a woman you need to hold his urh and uh, if you're a man you need to hold the ring which is gir um, uh, basically meaning try to be a good um, household man something like that well that's pretty much for today and uh, thanks for watching